Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You know that we have started all the groups of pronouns in English. Now, as I promised, today we are going to do a little exercise to know how well we remember all the information that was in my previous videos. If you haven't seen those videos yet, you can find the links to them in the description to this lesson. If you have, it is possible that today's exercise will help you see what you might need to revise. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that. Consider supporting me here if you like what I'm doing and if you find what I'm doing here helpful. Now let us start practicing. As usual, I suggest that you write the sentences that you will see on the screen down, insert those pronouns that you consider to be correct into each of the gaps and then check the exercise with me. So here are the first 10 sentences. Please pause the video, write them down, do the exercise and then we'll check it together. So I presume that you have already done that and we can start checking. So the first sentence. Look how big those German shepherds are. Well, my dog is bigger than they. Pay attention that it's not them, it's they. Look, our neighbors have bought a new car. Well, our car is better than theirs. Instead of their car, we use a theirs. If you need to revise those absolute forms, you can do it in this video. My pencil broke, so I asked Jane to lend me hers. Hers stands for her pencil. Again, the information about those pronouns is here. For a couple of minutes, the two cats looked into each other's eyes. I know you're telling the truth. Many others have told me the same. If you don't feel sure about other, others, another, the other, there are already two videos on my channel. This one where we speak about the pronouns and a much shorter one, this one. So you can check both to find uh, the answers to your questions about other, another, and so on. Would you like to go to the beach or to see that new exhibition downtown? Neither. I prefer to stay at home. We spoke about negative pronouns in our previous video. Remember that we use neither when we have two options and both of these options do not satisfy us. So neither that nor this option is good. There is nothing to worry about. There were 10 houses in the street and each had a nice little garden. I know English learners sometimes encounter difficulties when they have to choose between each and every. I'll remind you that we use each when we have a limited amount of choices. Here we speak about 10 houses and each of those 10 houses was nice and with a little garden. To refresh your knowledge about each and every, please watch this video. Now let's go to the next sentence. All agree that he has performed splendidly. We could use everybody, but for everybody our verb must be singular. So we should say everybody agrees that he has performed splendidly. We could also use everyone, but again, the verb should be singular in this case. Everyone agrees that he has performed splendidly, but all takes the verb in plural. So everything is fine. All agree that he has performed splendidly. Other than that, the sentences everybody agrees, everyone agrees, and all agree are semantically equal. They mean the same thing. And sentence number 10, it's something like five miles to the nearest town. Remember, please, that something can be used idiomatically, and in this case, it is synonymous to the word approximately. So when we say it's something like five miles, we mean it's approximately five miles. Let's take more sentences. To practice, again, please write them down, insert your options, and let's check. This bay was featured in the movie whose name I can't remember. Pay attention that though we speak about a movie, we use whose. You can paraphrase the sentence and say the name of which I can't remember, or simply 
whose name I can't remember. The information about it you can find in this lesson. Now, please sit down and make yourself at home. Make yourself at home is an idiomatic expression. It means feel comfortable. I have two photos of you. You look stunning in either in both of the photos that I have, in this one and in that one, in either. When we use either, we also speak about two options, like with neither, but either is positive. The house had two bedrooms, each faced the east, which meant a lot of sunlight in the morning. Again, as we are talking about a limited amount, two bedrooms, we use each, not every. Both Tom and Helen like to read science fiction. What are these? These are called amaretti. As the answer is in plural, they are called amaretti, we understand that we need a pronoun that will refer to something plural, yeah? And this is these. Usually when we ask about something, we have it near ourselves, yeah? So a more natural option is what are these? But also, of course, we can say what are those? What are those? When we speak about something that is further away from us. The next one. None or neither of us wants to be mean to the new guy. Why do we have this freedom to choose either none or neither? Because from this sentence it's not clear how many people we are talking about. If there are only two of us, we say neither of us. If there are many people, we are talking about a group of classmates, for instance, we use none, none of us. The next one. I have already read all the books on this shelf. And would you like something to eat? Do we have any fruit? Oh, you remember that in questions we use any, anything, anybody. In negative sentences we use any, anything, anybody. But in statements, we use some, something, somebody. The first sentence, would you like something to eat, technically is a question, but actually it's an offer. Yeah, semantically it's an offer, it's not a question. So something must be used here. Whereas the second sentence, do we have any fruit, is a true question. So we use any. Do we have any, any fruit at all? Okay, I hope this exercise was useful. Let me know if you like such type of practice, if I should do more exercises like this. If you have any questions to me, please leave them in the comment section down below. Subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video.